This is Omar Ahmed for IFL TV in association with MTK Global, joined by Frank Warren in the centre of London. Uh, Bob Arams just told me that Tyson Fury is going to stop Deontay Wilder. He's fully confident. Are you? Very much so. Actually, I said that to Bob before. I said I really do fancy uh, Tyson to do the business and stop him, and I really do do that. I really do believe that. Well, we're expecting this announcement for a while, but you've just given it after Christmas, a late Christmas present. Uh, how encouraging is it, though, that you've got three promotional companies and uh, three networks, obviously two in the US and, and one here, which we'll come on to in a, in a second, all working together to put this fight on? Well, I'm delighted. It's taken a bit of time. The fight was agreed a long, you know, quite a while ago. It's been a matter of when it was going to be announced. Uh, and they decided, because the fight's taking place, obviously, in Vegas, to maximise the impact of the announcement by doing it on college football day. So there's two massive games, games going on in two cities in the States today uh, involving the top four teams against each other. And they've got a massive audience for that. I think it's between 80 to 100 million people be watching these matches. So that's why it's happening. There won't be a press tour, but when you've got 80 to 100 million people looking at Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury talking about the fight, you don't really need one, to be honest. Well, they're sports fans. This is about sport. This is a sport. And that's how it's going to be maximised. You've got two, two, you know, you've got a, a, you know, a very rare, rare occurrence with two networks working with each other. So you know it's going to do massive business, and you know they'll be looking to maximise the uh, the impact and obviously the exposure to the fans. Frank, of course, the first fight was big, but it's fair to say this rematch is going to be on none of a scale. Is this the biggest fight, not even in boxing, but in in just combat sports to make today? Well, without a doubt. I mean, you know. The first fight, nobody fancied Tyson. I fancied him, but nobody fancied Tyson in the fight. He got robbed. This time round, it's a different thing altogether. This is the biggest fight out there. This is the two undefeated heavyweights, unfinished business. You know, Anthony Joshua and uh, Ruiz was, a, was two big fights this year. Well, the first fight wasn't actually such a big fight because no one thought it was going to be a, a day at a race. And the second one became more interesting. But this is far, far above that. This is two undefeated fighters at the top of their game. It's not an old geezer and a young geezer fight, an old geezer fight and a young geezer. This is two fellas at the top of, top of their, their profession. Ring Magazine confirmed that that belt will be on the line. So it just uh, adds that little special taste to it as well. Well, Ring Magazine put the belt on the line with the fighter who they made the no number one. Number one. Yeah. And I'm not going to argue with Ring Magazine. <laughs> OK, in terms of a network situation in the UK, how confident are you that BT Sport will get this fight? Well, at the end of the day, BT Sport have... It's their decision. First refusal on Titan, yeah? It's their decision. They live a... You know, and I believe that it'll be on BT Sport. It's their decision. End of story. That's where it's at. Um... You know, you, you read some of the crap that comes out and some of these so-called people involved in, in this sport who know nothing and don't even understand the machinations of what makes big fights and what happens. And it, it, sometimes I sort of, it baffles me. But the fact of the matter is, it's BT and our decision of what channel it will go on. We'll come on to that point in a sec. Um, when do you think we can have a formal announcement from BT that the fight will be on their platform? Well, that, 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 that at the moment is a matter of negotiations and so forth, and that will happen in due course, and I think it'll happen very quickly. OK, now, what you just said, I think you were referring to a tweet from Danny Flexen. Uh, I'm not sure if people have seen it. Do you want to just make a comment or a response to that tweet, Frank? Well, you know, I've known Danny for a number of years. He, made, he says various things, and he, the thing he put out today shows you how, how ignorant he is about, as I said, the machinations and how boxing works. You know, the objective here, remember, first of all, of course I want BT to get, but I'm Tyson Fury's promoter. I want the best for Tyson Fury. I want to get the most money for Tyson Fury. And the deal for Tyson Fury and how this fight would be broadcast was done two years ago, not done, so not done yesterday. The, the, how it would, would come about was done two years ago when he made his comeback. So, as I say, in due, in due course, it will be announced who's got the fight. It's nothing, it's nothing to do with... It's, it's nobody's decision but BT's decision. End of story. That clears that one up. Now, uh, you and Bob both expect Tyson to come through. I think he's the favourite going into this fight. We know he's got a, a deal with ESPN and he's based out in America for the time being. But do you think we're going to see Tyson back in the UK one day, Frank? Uh, I think not for this, Not obviously not before the fight, as you say, Omar. But I, I honestly do believe he'll come back here. He wants to fight back here. And that will happen... 
in due course and uh, I'd love to get him back here. I mean, you know, the fight obviously we all want to see is him and AJ in the ring together. Irrespective, you know, whatever happens, that's a fight we all want to see. Yeah, if that fight did happen, two UK guys, we'd expect it to be in the UK. Just say it doesn't happen, though. Do you think uh, Tyson has such a big appeal now that he could still do an Old Trafford or even a Wembley against an, uh, another opponent? I think Tyson Fury is the most popular boxer in the country. I really do, you know. Sportsman, because you look at the England football Sorry, team. You're absolutely correct. You, right? you haven't got the likes of Wayne Rooney and Frank Lampard and Steven Gerrard anymore. So. You know, you, you corrected me quite yeah. rightly, and he is. He is, he is, he is uh, he's a crossover. I mean, you know, he's look, this is a guy that is a WWE <laughs> Um, you know, sensation, um, and they got a massive audience. Boxing, he's done. This is a guy whose um, autobiography was number one in the Amazon list when it was when it came out. This is a guy that made in this country did uh, a single with Robbie Williams. So, you know, this is a busy, busy man. I mean, he, you know, he, he, he's 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 a man in demand. He's got a tremendous personality. I think he's got more personality than any boxer. That I've I've um, seen or been, not certainly been involved with, but certainly seen since Muhammad Ali. That's what exactly what Bob said as well. To be fair, well, really, well, there you go. We agree on something, but he has. I mean, he, he is. He, he you know he's got he, he's he's interesting. He's not stupid. He's got you know and, and he's and he's and since he's come back, getting all that crap from the past, all that sort of feeling an outsider to being there inclusive that people love him and they, they you know, and, and, I, and I believe I believe where he was was before was very toxic where he is now he's in a great place and he's he's doing fantastic and people love him the public love him and and I'm hoping he loves himself now I don't mean it in a narcissistic way but you know you know he feels good about himself and you know now he's in the biggest fight of his life he's in the biggest fight in heavyweight Boxing, I believe, since going back to Lewis Tyson. No, I don't think there was a big fight because Tyson was shot by then. Going back to Lewis, maybe, and uh, and Holyfield. You know, going back to those fights or or Holyfield and uh, Bo. They were big fights. At, I'm talking about guys at the top of their game, not somebody guy on the way out. These are the guys at the top of their game. This is a mega fight. This is a massive fight. We know Tyson did his WWE stint and uh, he's been talking about UFC, so there could be some interest from UFC fans who purchased this fight, uh, both here and in America, and obviously WWE fans are going to tune into this fight. So there's a massive crossover appeal into that sport and that world as well. Well, there is. There is, but I think it's a crossover from everybody, from, you know, from the general public. I mean, he's a... You know, I looked at, that, I looked at BBC Sports Personality here. Yeah. Where was Tyson Fury? You know, what... what What's going on? Talk about KSI. You know, and I don't want to knock KSI, you know, he's great what he's done and brilliant. But what what's going on in this world? Where am I? We're in boxing. Let's talk about these guys. These are proper top of the game who paid their dues boxers, real fighters. You know, I'm not saying KSI isn't a real fighter, but he's at he's at that level. These guys are beyond that top of that building up there. That's what we should be celebrating and enjoying and we're going to see the best fight and the best on the 22nd well after the Klitschko fight he was in the list but again he didn't win it and people suggesting the BBC and other major corporations might have an agenda against Tyson Fury I don't know where he got an agenda all that agenda now should all slip away you know Tyson's done a fantastic job he's come back he's paid his dues he's a he's a champion of mental health he's really been a, a, a champion of that and I know he's done a lot of stuff behind the scenes that's not not come out. And you know he he, he he should be celebrated for that. He should be celebrated for what he is. You know, a great British boxer, our best heavyweight in God knows how many years. Frank, I'm sure a lot of UK fans will want to be going to that fight. You should clarify the ticket situation, where they can purchase it from, and if they're on sale now. Uh, the tickets are on sale, and you get them from the agents that are in the in the states, I think. And anything over here will be come out in, in the next couple of days, you know, and obviously tell them where they can get their tickets from. Listen, it's sold out; it's gone. The tickets are all gone, more or less. Just away from this fight, how do you assess Queensbury's year uh, in 2019? Now we're at the end of it. We've had a fantastic year, you know. Josh Warrington's been brilliant, done what was been asked of him, and set himself up for a big fights in the new year. Uh, we've Stevenson. 
Well, we'd like it. Let me tell you something. I've got to say this. I'm talking to Bob about it. You know, Stevenson, and let's get it right, Stevenson has continually, continually talked about wanting to fight our man, wanting to fight Josh Warrington. I'll see you inside, Bob. Continue talks about wanting to fight our man. Our man wants it. Where are you? Tell your people to step up to the plate and make it happen. We want it to happen. We've got a date for you. 18th of May, Elm Road, it's all there to go. I know you're a really great young fighter. We want to make it happen. But you need to go and tell your people to make it happen. Don't keep talking about it on, the, on social media. Make it a reality. Make the new year a reality. Make that fight happen. It's a great fight between two great champions. Obviously, another fighter that was heavily involved with your shows was Daniel Dubois. Um, Joyce hooks off now, uh, for the time being anyways. Do you think we can get Dubois Joyce next? Well, I'd like to do that. I'd like to do that. You know, um, we've got to see what happens with the EBU and what happens with Hook. Uh, Daniel has had a fantastic year. Joe um, is a bit disappointed. Obviously, he's both been fighting on the 11th of January, so we've got to sort that out. But I'd like to see, I'd like to see those guys share the ring. ASAP because it's a big fight for the fans, big fight in the British heavyweight division, big fight in the world division. You know, they're both world ranked. And I think at the end of the day, we're in a situation where, you know, we're, the winner of that fight will go on to do something really, really big. You know, Daniel for me is the most exciting fighter I've said heavyweight I've been involved with from this, at this, his early stage and this stage of his career. He is an absolute phenomenal. It's how you win fights. And that punch he threw to knock out Fujimoto was a sensational punch. Frank, I know it's cold out here and your dessert's probably waiting for you. So I hope I, you had... I've got ice cream, don't worry. <laughs> I hope you had a, a nice... Come on, what do you want, you want, you want more, dear? Yeah? I'm good. I'm your good. man's behind me, so... No, no, was How was your Christmas? I had a great Christmas with my family, with my, with my sons and daughters, my grandchildren. I loved it. It was brilliant, lovely. Best time of the year. Switch off, enjoy it. This is a one-off. I mean, I've never even thought about doing a press conference in between Christmas and uh, and New Year. It's never happened before. So here I am, this old geezer, again, breaking ground. Well, when you announce a fight like Wilder Fury 2, then you've got to jump yeah, on it go. straight away. You're absolutely right, Umar. Did you have a good Christmas? Yeah, very nice to have, a, to have a break. I think we all needed a break yeah, this year. It's been hectic. Right. It's, um, it's fantastic. Yeah, all good. All enjoyable. When do you think you'll be starting announcing shows? Early January? Early January. We've got quite a, quite a good um, roster lined up. Some good fights. I want to get Anthony Yard back in action. I want to get um, Liam Williams now after his great win, get him back going. We've got all our youngsters coming through. So there's a lot of big fights to be announced. And, uh, and we're going to have a big year next year. Another big year. It's been it's been a, it's been a absolute... Uh, it's not been a roller coaster this year. It's been... It's been everything's been up, 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 up. And that's the way we want to continue to be. Outside your main guys, obviously we know Tyson's challenging for the WBC and Josh Warrington will be defending his belt, whoever it's against. Who do you expect out of your roster to be fighting for a world title next year? I guess Liam Williams is in there, Archie Sharp, maybe Sonny Edwards? They're all in there. They're all, they're, they're all there. They're, every one of them are in there. You know, Anthony Yard done brilliantly. Um, I think if he got his tactics a little bit and that's down to experience, a little bit better. He'd have won that fight. He was 15, 10, 15 seconds away becoming world champion. So now he's got to, you know, make sure next year he, he, he's learnt from that. And I'm quite confident he can. He's the loveliest guy you can meet. Fantastic fight, a fighter. And I want to see him getting up there. And, you know, Sonny, um, you know, he's, he's brilliant. He's a lovely kid to work with. There's some good fights there, domestic to be made, uh, which... Are, which um, be great for the fans. You know, all of them, Liam, all the way through it, there's some really quality fights to be made. Now, I know Carl did a co-promotional deal with yourself and uh, Top Rank. Yeah. There's been talk about him returning uh, to Belfast against Jamel Herring. Uh, obviously, we're guessing that'll be on BT you know Sport. That'll be a great fight. Eh? That would be a great fight. It'd be a fantastic fight. You know a fight I'd like to see? Make the rematch. Let's do the rematch. Well, if Warren and Shakur Stevenson don't happen, then I guess Frampton well, Warren. Make, let's make, well, well, let me ask you this one. What would you much rather see? I'd like to see them two do the rematch. Possibly, possibly from a UK perspective, there would be more interest in Warren and What well, perspective? I'm talking about as a fan buying a ticket, what do you want to watch? Well, you know what you're getting in that Warren and Frampton fight. Well, the first fight was a magnificent fight. Yeah. Absolute magnificent fight. I'd love to see that again. Every day of the week, I'd like to see that. Have you talked to Josh and Carl's teams about doing that rematch again? No, I haven't. I'm telling you, me, as a, as a promoter, and certainly as a fight fan, I'd love to see that. 
All right, Frank. Well, I feel like I'm keeping you long to here. Cause, yeah, look, Darren's <laughs> saying. So, uh, listen, uh, Happy New Year. Thanks. Happy New Year, mate. You want to get back to your pudding now, don't you? <laughs> I'm, I'm going home uploading this video. I'm telling you you're on your way in. <laughs> Thank you, Frank.